Hello, my friends. Okay. I apologize, guys. It's been like three days since I made a video. When I got back home, I had to take care of some stuff. So, yeah. I'll try to keep it. I don't know. I'll try not to keep it that long as far as my days making videos. But, yeah. Um, I have a couple video responses. I'm going to make this first one. Uh, okay. This is about coaching, like uh, particularly coaching people on making videos. Like uh, some people say, um, or some people, yeah, some people ask me if it's okay, like if they make videos, if it's okay to uh, have some native speaker, like help them out. And I've, I've actually had native speakers in the past that watched my videos when I was practicing. They, they even, um, they offer, they say, yeah, you know, I could have, you know, I could tell you. I could have helped you with that if you want me to like the the videos where I'm where I'm uh, the videos where I make um, speaking and the lesson videos. I had native speakers telling me like offering to help me with that, but you know what? I look at it like this. It's like, what's the point? Like if I have a native speaker, um, let's say I want to make a video a lesson video going a lesson uh, for what Tibetan or whatever. And I go and I'm and I get the video made, like I, I I write it up or whatever, and then I just have a native speaker look over it and tell me what I need to correct. It's like, what's the point? Like I would have wasted my time unless I wanted to like show off, or you know, just to show people, okay, hey, look, no mistakes or whatnot. So by me doing that, by me doing that, it's like, um, it's it. It's, it's almost like encouraging people, to, like showing people that it's okay to make mistakes. You know, I don't want to have any videos where I'm perfect. I don't I don't want to do that. But if I have a native speaker correct me or, you know, show me what I need to do before I put the video up, it's like um, there is nothing to really complain about for someone, you know, someone like no corrections or nothing. So it's like, uh, what's the point of doing that? So I would recommend, you know, just make the video whatever you know do it on your own you know you, you you may not be perfect but it's like a um a process i want people to see this process this learning process see how oh what is that yeah just see how the video was before and they look at the the, the video the next video they say wow this guy made progress and it, and it kind of gives people hope or you know encourages them to make more videos on their own not worrying about making those mistakes so um yeah i don't i don't really recommend getting coached by a native speaker unless unless you're just want to show off and don't want you don't want anyone you don't want to hear like you don't want anyone to um criticize your mistakes or whatnot but if you're here on youtube to like practice languages to help out others you know show them that they can do it you know it's everyone makes mistakes and whatnot then know I, I, I wouldn't really encourage doing that so um, yeah uh, that's it I just wanted to um, give my thoughts on that and uh, let, let me know what you guys think should we be coached should we have native speakers coaches before putting videos up I don't think we should unless like I said unless we just want to show off but uh, yeah that's how I feel about it so yeah uh, let me know what you guys think I will talk to you guys shortly. Uh, thanks for viewing.